Alright, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His Son, Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly called God, God in Jesus Christ. Alright, and through the Holy Spirit. So, God, Allah, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekal Kadash. Uh, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and Ruth Well, and Shalom to the brothers that live in this gospel in truth and sincerity. Alright, Shalom. Alright, so today I want to get into a quick lesson over the covenants, you know, because you have these Christians coming up, you know, and and, and breaking the scriptures down wrong, alright, causing confusion, alright, causing confusion, and you know, the, this is the most high story, and that's how the most high set it up to go, man, alright, this is the most high controls everything, so he has these Christians coming up against the truth. All right, but it's not going to prevail. All right, like all these other doctrines that are coming up against the truth. All right, and that haven't prevailed. They're not going to prevail, man. All right, because the Most High is dealing with his uh people, man. All right, his people consist of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called. True identity is the Israelites. He's only dealing with a remnant. All right, in the time we living in right now, man, starting with the hundred and forty-four thousand men that will be out. Out on the highways and the byways preaching the gospel, man. All right. Now you had these wacky techie Christians saying the covenants are for everybody, which is a lie, man. All right. And we're going to prove that in this lesson. Uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. All right. To the, uh, to the elect. All right. And edify me to build up, man. To build up your faith. But to build up your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of your heart by Shemir and Rashad. All right. So you can serve him in truth. All right, and in the spirit, because that's what it's about, man. Yahweh Shah said those that worship uh, the Heavenly Father must worship him in the spirit, all right, and in truth, all right? So what's the truth of the matter? Truth of the matter is that the covenants only pertain to the Israelites, all right? The new and the old covenant. So this is Romans 9 and 4. Well, I started one. It says, I say the truth, and uh, Mashiach, Allah, nah. I lie not. My conscience always bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, talking about his mind. All right, and Paul is talking to the uh, Israelites that scattered in the region of Rome. All right, he's not talking about, uh, he's not talking to uh, so-called white people, all right, Euro so-called Europeans, which are biblical. The true identity in the Bible is Edomites, all right? Edomites have no place of repentance, no salvation will be given to the Edomites, all right? Edomites are promised to be utterly destroyed, man, all right? And in this same chapter, the Most High said that he hate Esau, all right? Uh, verse 13. So this is not talking about you so-called white people receiving salvation, all right? It's talking about the Israelites, man, all right? Because T.D. Jack said... He was talking to the Romans. Rome is in uh, Europe. Europeans trying to say that Paul was talking to so-called white people. Now he was talking to Edomite. I mean, uh, Israelites. Salakia. He was talking to Israelites, man. All right. So continue to read. It says, uh, verse three: For I could wish that myself was a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. All right. Who are Israelites? So his kinfolk are Israelites, man. Paul was Israelite. This is Romans 11 and 1. I say then, hath the Most High cast away his people? The Most High forbid. For I am, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. All right? And Benjamin came from who? It came from Jacob, one of his uh, men, uh, sons, man. All right? One of his bun. All right, from Abraham, Abraham had Isaac, and Isaac had uh, Jacob. All right, his name was changed to Israel. All right, and for the Israelites, because the Israelites consist of all of um, it, uh, Jacob's uh, 12 sons, man. All right, which Benjamin is one of those 12. All right, so the Most High has not cast away his people. All right, like the Christians also like to push that the Israelites was done, uh, cast away, they broke the covenant, 
they did break the covenant, but the Most High is going to, has made a new covenant with them on a better promise, man. Set on better blood, which that blood was Yahweh Shah, which Yahweh Shah only came for the Israelites, man. All right? Who the world ignorantly called Jesus. He only came for the Israelites. All right? Let me get this right quick. Matthew 15 and 24. And this is in red letter, right? It says... But he said, he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. Only the lost sheep, man. And yet, Yahweh Shah was our shepherd. So the ones that didn't know they was Israelites, that's who the Most High was sent to, man. All right? And you had our people back in the day, you know, that knew they was Israelites, but they were still lost, man, because they didn't have the right way. All right? The right way is through Yahweh Shah, man. All right, so he was only sent to the Israelites. All right? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And you also have our people scattered amongst the other nations, man. All right? So it says the Bible. So this is Romans 9 and 4. It says, Who are Israelites? To whom pertained the adoption? The adoption was only for the Israelites. Yahweh shot, shedding his blood and bringing the Israelites into good graces of Yahweh again, man. All right, bringing the Israelites back into peace with their power, man. All right. That also shows you the Christians ain't got it. They say Yahweh Shah and the Heavenly Father is one. All right. The same entity. That's impossible, man. How you going to be a mediator between uh, a mediator if you are the Heavenly Father? It's, it just doesn't make sense. All right. So, he's on to say, to whom pertaining the adoption and the glory. That's the that's the kingdom of that's the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, and the covenants. All right, and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promises, man. So the covenants. We're gonna get into these covenants, and right here I went through some of these precepts around the covenants, and they was on point, man. All right, these precepts was on point. So I'm gonna get some of these precepts. All right. So this is Genesis 15 and 18. It says, in the same day, Yahweh made a covenant with Abram. All right. Abram's name was changed to um, Abraham. All right. It's, uh, it says, saying unto thy seed, have I select you. You know, Abram means um, exalted father, father exalted. And then Abraham means a uh, father of a multitude all right good yeah, that's why you know i started stuttering because i was thinking about that you know so this is genesis 15 18 again it says in the same day yahweh made a covenant with abram saying unto thy seed have i given this land all right from the river of egypt unto the great river the river euphrates man all right and his seed is who abram Abraham, from start with Abraham to Isaac, all right, and to Jacob, man, all right. So let me get that real quick. Isaac, let me just look up Isaac. Isaac, let me get rid of him. So like you, so like you, bear with me. Right. So this is um, Genesis 17 and 19. And it says, and, and the Most High said, Sarah, thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and I shall call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. All right. So his, his. Isaac with his seed, man. All right. Isaac was Abraham's seed, and then his seed after him, which was Jacob, man. All right. So Abraham had what? Ishmael first. He had Ishmael first, right? But the covenant was established with Ishmael. It was established with Isaac. Though Ishmael did become a great nation of twelve. All right. But Isaac. 
which the covenant established with, man. All right? The covenant what? Is keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, man. It was established on blood, man. All right? It was sealed with, with blood, man. All right? So, going back to Romans 9 and 4, showing you from Abraham unto Isaac. All right? It was the covenant established with unto Jacob. All right, because Jacob's name was changed to Israel, the Israelites, man. All right, the Israelites to whom pertaining to covenants, man. All right, so I'm going to get Exodus 24 and 7. It says, and he took the book of the covenant. I started uh, verse 6. It says Exodus 24 and 6. And Moses took half the blood and put it in uh, basins and half the blood he sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant and read in the audience of the people was the law, statutes, and commandments. That's the book of the covenant. All right? And read in the audience of the people. And they said, all that Yahweh had said we will do and be obedient. This is the Israelites, man. All right? And he's going to tell you that. Verse 8, and Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant which Yahweh had made with you concerning all these words. All right. Then went up Moses and Aaron and Nadab and Abihu and 70 of the elders of Israel. And they saw the power of Israel, man. All right. So this was talking to the Israelites. This was only pretending to the Israelites. The covenant was um, the covenant was for the Israelites, man. All right. All right, and it was established on what? This blood, man. All right, that was sprinkled. Fast forward into Yahweh Shah times. Yahweh Shah shed his blood of the new covenant. All right. Let me let me get that real quick. And it was only for the Israelites again. All right, for the forgiveness of their sins. All right. Uh, let me see. Yep, is Yahweh Shah speaking Matthew 26 and 28. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which testament interchangeable with covenant, which is shed for which is shared for many for the remission of sins. Alright. So is that his blood was shed for what? The sins of Israel, man. Alright. The sins of Israel. Matthew 1 and 21. It says, and he shall bring forth a son, and she shall bring forth a son. Talking about Mary. And thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shah, for he, will, for he shall save his people from their sins, man. All right? By what? That blood. All right? Because back in the Old Testament, you have to, what, shed the blood of animals for forgiveness of sin. But Yahweh Shah, he shed his blood one time for the remission of the sins of Israel, man. All right? So this is what X. Let me see, five, and let me see. Right, this is X five and thirty. It says, "And the Most High of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shah, whom you ye salute and hang on a tree." Talking about those Jews, man. All right, the tribe of Ab um, the tribes of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. All right, they had said, "Look, crucify Yahweh Shah." All right, and that was all according to prophecy. So it's, it goes on to read, "Him had the Most High exalted with His right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin." Man, all right. So, like the first covenant was this um was. Pretty much the agreement was sealed with the sprinkling of the blood with um, the Israelites. It was sealed with the blood of Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Shah said in himself, this is the, my blood of the new covenant, man. All right? Which is given for the forgiveness of sin. All right? So, it's, not, it's, it's nothing... Um, it's nothing changed, man. It was just on a better, it was just a better uh, promise, man. All right? 
You were just on better promises. Nothing was changed. You was just upgraded. All right? So he didn't go to other nations and all the people of the earth. He was just upgraded. All right? Yeah, how was Shah was the ultimate uh, sacrifice, all right? For the nation of Israel. Not, not, that didn't change, all right? The Most High said he don't change. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. This is uh, Malachi, let me see, 3 or 6. It says, For I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Why are they not consumed? Because the Most High ain't going to change up his promise that he made to the Israelites. All right. Romans 9 and 4 again. All right. Get these covenants. All right. So, go to Exodus 24 and 7. It says, and he took the book of the covenant, read in the audience of the people. And they said, all that Yahweh has said we will do. That's what the Israelites said. And be obedient. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled on the people and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant, all right, which Yahweh had made with, with you concerning all these words. And that was with the Israelites, showing you that the old covenant was with the Israelites, man. All right. This is Jeremiah 31 and 33. All right. So that was the old covenant. And this is the new covenant, man. All right. The new, what, contract. That's what... Uh, T.D. Jake said, Con Covenant is a contract. All right? It's not about color. It's about covenant. And you're right, man. We don't preach color. We preach covenant. We're showing you in this lesson who the covenant is for. So it's Jeremiah 31, 33. And this is a good read, man. This go all into it, man. Jeremiah 31st chapter showing you that we was scattered. All right? And the Most High is going to redeem us, man. All right? And it's all according to the new covenant. All right. And it was only for the Israelites. They will be carted off into slavery amongst the four corners of the earth, scattered. And the Most High going to bring us back through his son, Yahweh Shah, when he come back with the angels and the chariots, man, to deliver us, man, in great fashion. All right. This is what the Bible is talking about, man. All right. Deliver us from our enemies. What? Luke 1. Luke, the first chapter, talk about Yahweh Shah delivering us from our enemies. All right, starting from what the sixty-eight verse, it says, um, "It says, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days." All right, let me start right here, uh, verse thirty-one. It says, "Behold, the days come," say Yahweh, "that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah." All right, talking about the northern, the northern and the southern kingdom. All right, because the split that happened. All right. During the time of Solomon, all right, had what ten tribes was given to Jeroboam, all right, and three tribes or two tribes was given unto what uh, Rehoboam, his son, all right, and then what Jeroboam had sent the Levites unto uh, the southern kingdom, all right. So it goes on to read. So this covenant is going to be established with Israel and Judah, not uh, Ishmael, Elam, and Esau, all right? That's not what's in, in the scriptures, man, all right? And if you put you uh, say that, then you add into the book. And we know, according to the scriptures, whoever add into this book, the most high going to add plagues into his life, man, all right? <laughs> all right? Verse 32, it says, Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. Okay, not that covenant, which my covenant they broke, because they broke it, man. They broke the agreement, man. They broke the contract, man. All right? We did. We did it, man. All right? As a nation, the contract was broken. Like a, mar uh, a mar marriageable contract. All right? A man and a woman getting together, Israel is likened to the Most High's woman, right? And the, the Israelites had went off, all right? But you can read that in what? Jeremiah, the third chapter, all right? If I'm not mistaken. Let me check that real quick. We had broke, we broke that contract. What? You can read that also in what? Isaiah 50, 50, uh, Isaiah 50, starting in one. So Jeremiah... 
Yep. Jeremiah 3 and 1, man. You can see that Israel had broke the contract. But the Most High is going to make a new contract with him, man. All right? Because he's going to keep the promise that he made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right? So it goes on to read, Not according to the contract that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they prayed. Although I was a husband unto them, said the Most High, right? Verse 33, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, said Yahweh, after what days? After we delivered from my enemies, man. All right. I will put the law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts, and I will be their power, and they shall be my people, man. All right. So the Most High is going to what? Put the law, statutes, the commandments in our minds. Are we going to automatically keep the law, statutes, commandments and be perfect? All right. Therefore, the Most High will never cast us away as a people no more, man. All right. Verse 34, it says, they shall teach no, no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, Yahweh, for they shall know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, said Yahweh. For I will forgive their iniquity and remember their sins no more. And that's through what? The blood of Yahweh Shah. All right. That's how we're going to be forgiven. That's why we got to have faith in Yahweh Shah, man. Having faith in Yahweh Shah is having faith in the scriptures, man. Everything that the scriptures say, you must believe in them. All right? If you want that blood to uh, cover you in the times we're living in today, man. All right? Because it's all about the remnant today, man. All right? These scriptures is for what? The elect of the house of Israel, which consists to start with the 144,000. It consists of uh, men, women, and children, man. All right? So it says, this is the new covenant. Now we're going to fast forward, all right, to the New Testament, all right? Number nine and four. And the New Testament is nothing but an ex extension of the Old Testament, man. It's just a continuation, all right? And the Old Testament includes the Apocrypha, all right? So it was right here. We're going to go to, uh, let me see. Right, and that go into uh, Jeremiah 33, talking, goes into how the Most High won't cast. He hasn't done away with his people, all right, like we read in Romans the 11 chapter, because these Christians would say, and they have said that the Most High has done away with the nation of Israel and put them off. But according to the new covenant, the Most High would gather them back together, man, all right, make a new covenant with them. And that was only with the nation of Israel, like we're going to get here. This is Hebrews 8, starting at 6. It says, But now hath obtained a more excellent ministry, or by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant. That's Yahweh Shah. All right? He's the mediator between the Most High and the Israelites. All right? A mediator is like a lawyer to speak on the behalf of one. All right? Yahweh Shah speaks on the behalf of the Israelites, man. All right? Which was established upon better promises, man. It was established upon better promises. For that, and that better established on better promises was Yahweh Shah's blood. All right? And the law, statutes, the commandments being put in our inward parts. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second for finding fault with them. So the, 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 the fault in the first covenant. Having fault in it was on our side. We was faulty, man. Why? Because we in these bodies, all right? We in these bodies and we lust we lust to go off. We lust to envy, man. All right? That's why we got to be changed. The scriptures talk about a change. We got to get out of these bodies, man. All right? And we're going to get glorious bodies, all right? Extraterrestrial bodies to where... We will never go off again, man. Never go off again. All right. And it says, for finding fault with them, he said, behold, the days come, said Yahweh. Then will I make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Now, no other nation, man. Because these other nations are not going to have the law, statutes, and commandments in them. It says, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers. We just read this in Jeremiah 31st chapter. Showing you that the Old and New Testament, they agree, man. 
nothing changed between then and now. All right. It says, now according to not a covenant to not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continue not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, said the Lord, and Most High put us away, but. Through the new covenant, through Yahweh Shai, we being brought back. So the water Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai for that, all right? For this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, said the Lord, I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people, all right? So I want to continue on that, and it says, verse 11, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor, every man his brother, saying, Know Yahweh, for all shall know me for the least to the greatest. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sin and their iniquity will I remember no more. And that he said a new covenant he had made the first old, and now that which the kid wax the old and is ready to perish. And this is, and we still in part of the old covenant because in the new covenant we imparted the new as well because we haven't received the law statutes and commandments and we ain't with parts yet so the, we're in the new covenant but it's not all the way fulfilled yet it'll be all the way fulfilled when we get into the kingdom all right so we're going to go into these other nations they have no part in the uh new covenant right so this is Micah 4 and 1. It says, But in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of Yahweh, which is Mount Zion, which is the Israelites, all right, shall be established in the top of the mountains over all these other nations, all right, and shall be exalted above, above the hills, all these other nations, smaller nations, right? And the people shall flow unto it. And the what people? The heathen. And many nations shall come and say, Come and let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh and to the house of the power of Jacob. And, we, he, and he will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for the law shall go forth of Zion and away of Yahweh from Jerusalem. Right? So showing you that the other nations, they will be, have to be taught by us. But the Israelites... According to the scriptures in the new covenant said, you will not have to teach every man his neighbor. Showing you that the new covenant and salvation is not for all nations, man. Like the Christian church like to preach. All right. So this is Zechariah 14 and started um, 16. Zechariah 14, 16. It says, it shall come to pass that everyone that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, and to keep the feast of tabernacles. All right, so all the people that's not destroyed, all right, in this ther thermonuclear fire, all right, in this thermonuclear war that's soon to come, all right, soon to come, all the uh, people of the nations that's not destroyed, all right, so I'll read it again. Zechariah like right, fourteen sixteen, and it shall come to pass that everyone that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem, all right, which came against the Israelites, shall even go up from year to year to worship the king, all right, Yahweh of hosts, all right, and to keep the feast of the tabernacles, and it shall be that whoso will not come up or all the families of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the king, Yahweh of hosts, even upon them shall be no rain, all right. And if the family of Egypt go not up and, and come not, that have no rain, there should be plague where the Yahweh will smite the heathen that come not up to keep the feast of the tabernacle. All right. This shall be the punishment of Egypt and in the punishment of all the nations that come come not up to keep the feast of the tabernacle, showing you that these nations are gonna get judged if they don't hey, serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right. And get and get under the order of the Israelites, all right, which will be will be ruling over them. They gonna be our slaves. And they gonna have to what keep our customs, all right. Like Esau make us keep his customs. Uh, Easter, which is not of the scriptures. You read Easter, it's talking about the Passover, man. All right. Um, 
That's why you got to go into words. All right. Uh, Christmas, Halloween. You're going to have to worship our holiday days, man. The Passover, Unleavened Bread, the uh, Feast of Trumpets, Feast of Tabernacles. I mean, Memorial Blunt of the Trumpet, Feast of Tabernacles, Day of Atonement. You're going to have to keep our um, high holy days, showing you that the heathen, they're going to go off, man. All right? They're going to go off. We're going to have to judge them, showing you, look, they're going to have to be taught. Showing you that they don't have no part in the new covenant and their salvation. All right. So that's it, man. All right. The the uh, covenants only pertain to the Israelites. So I want to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His Son, Yahweh Shah. All right. Through the Holy Spirit. Call out Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakal Kadash. The bonus to the Apostle Graham Hillstone at Ruel and Shalom to the brothers that labor in this gospel in truth and sincerity. All right, hope this lesson was edifying and to the elect, man. Build you up, man. All right, because that's what it's about, building up. 